Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be answering a question about our universe. We're actually going to be talking about a possibility of seeing galaxies very very far away from us and we're going to basically answer a question, do galaxies that are moving away from us faster than speed of light disappear from our observation or can we actually see them? In other words, let's talk about things that are really really far from us. Welcome to What The Math. So, first of all, let's establish some basics as we're escaping from our beautiful Earth and as we're moving across our own galaxy relatively fast, faster than the speed of light. So, so yeah, nothing in the universe can actually move faster than the speed of light. This is something that Einstein has established in his general theory of um, relativity a long time ago. And... Most of uh, his theory is actually absolutely correct. Uh, so nothing, no matter, no object can move at a speed faster than the speed of light, even though we're currently doing so in Space Engine. But that doesn't include space itself. Universe itself can actually expand faster than the speed of light. In other words, as I move away farther and farther from Earth, we actually know that space itself expands outwards. Space moves away from us, and it moves away faster and faster. The farther you are from Earth, the farther you are from the center of observation, the faster space moves away from you. Now, it's not as fast as you can see right now. It's, uh, this is mostly just a simulation. But if I were to go to a location approximately one megaparsec away, or one uh, million parsec away, which is something like three million light years away from us. At that location, the space itself moves away from us at approximately 70 kilometers per second. In other words, let's actually just simulate this by selecting Earth and moving to a location about 73 million light years away from uh, from our Earth. So somewhere around here, we're going to just stop, stop completely. So here's our Earth, somewhere over there, we're going to zoom into it and just, just to see our galaxy for one more time. There's there's the Milky Way, maybe not the best view from, uh, from this particular location, but we can actually pan around just so you can see it a little bit better. Earth is somewhere in the middle right there. At this uh, particular location, even if we're basically stopped completely, we're actually moving away from Earth approximately 70 kilometers per second. And that's because of the so-called Hubble's law. This is a law that was discovered by the scientist by the name of uh, Hubble approximately 100 years ago, and he was able to prove it. He was able to show that the farther away you are from the center of observation, the faster things move away. And so this, of course, implies that the farther away we move from the center of observation, the faster space expands away from that location. So that also means that if we were to go to a location approximately 4,300 um, megaparsecs away from, from here, basically what we would call the edge of the universe, at that location, light would actually, or not just light, but everything would actually recede from us at approximately the speed of light. And so let's actually, let's go there right now. So this this is going to be approximately 13-ish um, billion light years away from our Earth that is right there in the center. So right now this is just 1 billion and let's go to 13 billion. So we're going to basically reach this edge of the universe. and things there will be expanding a lot faster. And so we're almost there, and here we go. So somewhere around, around here, maybe, maybe a little bit farther. I guess Space Engine doesn't simulate this super accurately, but right around 
So somewhere around right here, this is where if you were to stop completely, you would be receding from Earth at approximately the speed of light, even if you were completely stopped. Now, because our universe is expanding in every direction from us, this means that this kind of forms a sphere around our location, and this is what we would call the Hubble sphere. And no, this doesn't actually violate Einstein's theory at all, because space itself can expand as fast as it wants to. As a matter of fact, there was actually time a long time ago when... As a matter of fact, there was actually time a long time ago when space expanded uh, so fast that uh, we have a name for it, it's called inflation. It basically instantly expanded to a tremendous large size, but since then it actually stopped. But it is still expanding and it's still actually even accelerating um, and increasing its expansion speed. And our only explanation for it so far is that there's something called dark energy that's causing it to accelerate. Anyway, this is another topic, of course, because right now we're just talking about these galaxies right here in this vicinity that are at a distance of about 4.3 uh, billion parsecs away from us that seem to be actually moving away from us at the speed of light. Now, would we be actually able to see galaxies that are slightly farther away? So, like, for example, this galaxy right here, and this is a galaxy that's very bright, is actually beyond the Hubble sphere. It's beyond the so-called visible uh, location, visible light location. So, in other words, this is uh, moving away from us faster than speed of light. So, the light that's coming off it may actually never reach us because it's actually moving away, you know, at faster than the speed of light. But we actually do see them. And we see them with time because as it so happens, the Hubble sphere itself expands with time as well. And at some point, the Hubble sphere will become larger. And when it becomes larger, the light that escaped those galaxies that are moving away faster than the speed of light from us will enter the Hubble sphere and eventually reach our planet Earth and eventually we'll be able to see it. Now, there's actually a really good explanation of this on uh, Veritasium's channel. He made a video about it back in 2014. But what I wanted to talk about in this video is actually just the kind of a visualization and kind of an um, explanation for a lot of this other stuff using Space Engine. So, we know that um, many of these galaxies, like for example, this galaxy right here, is emitting the light toward us right now. So let's actually maybe come closer to it so we can see it in a little bit more detail. And here, here it is. This beautiful procedurally generated galaxy with a funny name. So this galaxy is outside of our Hubble sphere. In other words, the galaxy itself will never actually uh, be inside the Hubble sphere. And it's currently moving away from us at a speed, uh, a speed that's faster than the speed of light. But the light that escaped it billions of years ago will eventually enter the Hubble sphere and will eventually be able to see what this galaxy looked like billions and billions of years ago. So this is actually very, very unusual because a lot of the light that we see today from um, about 5 billion years ago and, um, and beyond was actually emitted by objects that used to be past our Hubble sphere. So this, at some point, will also be visible to us, even though currently we cannot see it. And all of this light, when it reaches us, is going to be extremely redshifted. It's going to be very, very redshifted. We might not actually even be able to uh, see it very well, because it's essentially going to be not this color at all. It's going to be very, 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 very redshifted and appear almost in infrared. And also, this brings me to my next explanation about some of the galaxies that are right at the Hubble sphere itself. So there's actually a location right here, somewhere in this region, approximately 13.8 to 14 billion years, uh, light years away from us, uh, where a galaxy in this particular uh, region will actually slowly uh, kind of disappear from the from the visual light. It will, will become so red shifted that will, it will start appearing in infrared and not in visible light. 
And so if you were to stare at a, at a certain location, like for example, maybe this galaxy right there, if we can maybe see it a little bit better. So here's a random galaxy that I kind of select. If we were to kind of skip staring at it over and over and over, at some point, because it's moving away from us, it would actually slowly fade away into the infrared. So we need to use infrared telescopes to actually see it, which is actually very unusual. And this is one of the reasons why our night sky is actually so dark. Technically, if all of the stars in the universe were still in the visible region of space, our night sky would be extremely bright, but over time, many, many stars actually faded away past the Hubble sphere um, and actually past the so-called particle horizon. This is actually the limit of where we can see things even today. And this particle horizon expands to a diameter of about 93 billion light years um, uh, across the universe. So it's approximately 46 billion light years away from us that we can actually see objects still. So for me to really reach the visible limit of the universe, I have to go really, really, really far away. So I'm going to show you how far away it is. So in Space Engine at about 24 billion light years, this is where um, the observable universe kind of ends. But um, if we move to approximately 45 billion light years from us, this is technically the limit of the particle horizon. This is the limit of where we can still kind of detect things from. And these things are essentially extremely red shifted. They're, they're barely even visible to us at all. And unfortunately, in Space Engine, it's kind of hard to simulate this, but let's just reach that location right now. And so somewhere around here in this complete darkness, this is essentially the limit of us seeing things. Even though it's kind of invisible at this point in Space Engine, in real life, we can still kind of detect certain things from, from this location because they emitted light so, so many uh, billions of years ago. And because their light has entered our uh, Hubble sphere a long time ago. So uh, now we're going to go back to our Earth. I'm going to zoom back to it, fly through the entire visible universe, and I guess invisible universe, and appreciate how far away things really are in space. And here we go, we're coming closer and closer to Earth, zooming past trillions and trillions of galaxies, and now we're back to Earth. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully now you'll know a little bit more about our universe about Hubble Sphere and about how big our universe is and how big the visible universe is as well and why we can still see galaxies far, far away and the fact that the galaxies actually move away from our, uh, from our planet Earth faster than the speed of light. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and come back tomorrow to learn something else educational using video games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always... Bye-bye.